I'd love to give you a demo of Apple Music, but before I start, I do want to wish Phil Schiller a happy birthday. Oh. So let's go ahead and launch our new music app. You'll notice right away it's got a brand new UI, much simpler to use. Your recently added albums and songs right across the top. Let's play this, this new song from Spoon I added. One of the things you'll notice, we have a new mini player across the bottom that always shows you what's playing. And if I tap on it, I get full screen and I can see the beautiful artwork, all the playback controls. I can just swipe down and it disappears. Now, I like looking at my music by artists. It's really easy to do that too. I'll just tap on albums, switch to artists, and let's take a look at Aretha Franklin. First thing you'll notice is we add beautiful artwork to all the artist pages. Notice as I swipe up, it goes away, and you see Aretha at the top. Now, no demo goes complete without playing this song. Now, you not only get all of your Aretha Franklin songs in your music library, but you can also tap on all, and now you can see all of the songs on Apple Music, including the latest release, what the top song is, what the top album is. Now, it is hard to stop this song, but I want to keep going. <laughs> now, let's go back to my library, and let's take a look at my playlist. Now, despite the game last night, I'm getting ready for tomorrow night, and I've already started creating my playlist. One of the first things you'll notice is we can add your own artwork to your playlist. And I'm gonna be doing this tonight, getting the Warriors ready. But let's go back, it is karaoke night. And uh, these are some of the songs that uh, our team has uh, to look forward to tonight. Let's go ahead and play that. Just imagine. Now if I tap on the mini player, I can see the full screen, if I tap on the right-hand side next to the playback controls, I can see the complete playlist, and it's very easy for me to reorganize it. Let's say I want to move Jealous back up, and now that'll be the next song that plays. It's that simple. Now that's great. The first time we go to For You, we want to find out a little bit about your musical taste. And so we're going to ask you what genres you like. I'm a big fan of rock pop, hip-hop, and alternative. And uh, now it'll ask me for some of my artists that I like. Well, I love Bruce Springsteen, so I'm gonna tap twice. I like Lord, like Alabama Shakes. And now we're gonna take all of this information you provided along with all of your playlist and the songs that you purchased on iTunes, and we're gonna make recommendations just for you. So here's one inspired by Bruce Springsteen. Here's one called Bring, Bring the Big Rock. Let's, let's play that. That's a great Foo Fighters song. I can just tap and see the rest of the songs. Definitely gonna like this playlist. Now here's another one from Pharrell. And I also get new albums that are available to me and even some classic albums that I should be listening to. And so here are some brand new albums from the artists that I really love. Now here's an interesting one, Cuban, a Cuban playlist. You might be wondering, how did that get in there? Well, I like a lot of Latin music. And so Apple Music knows that and it's recommending this playlist to me. Let's take a look at it. Definitely gets my Cuban blood going. Now this is a playlist I definitely want to keep. So I'm gonna ha tap on the plus sign, and I've added that now to my playlist. Now let's take a look at what's new. And you can see new albums across the top, more here, and even the hot singles that are out. Let's play this one from Florence and the Machine.
I can keep scrolling and see some recent releases. But of course, everyone loves the charts. So let's go ahead and take a, see, take a look at the charts. See the top songs, the top albums, and even the top music videos. We have tens of thousands of music videos in HD, all ad free. Let's take a look at this one from Mark Ronson. I gotta work on some of those moves for next year. <laughs> now sometimes you just wanna sit back and let someone else be your DJ. And so let's go to radio. And to give you a little taste of what Beats One is gonna sound like. Beats One. We welcome our special guest Florence from Florence and the Machine. On paper it sounds like super, not how you think like a rock and roll album would be made. Well, isn't it you and your sweatpants? It was me and an Cycling to the studio. Beats One. We're looking for the most exciting music and the people that love it in all corners of the globe. Broadcasting to 100 countries. That shared experience just got so much bigger. Well, I saw That's really awesome. Now let's take a look at Connect and see what some of my favorite artists are up to. So here's Pharrell with some behind the scenes footage. Here's Chris Cornell. This is an interesting one. He's actually posted lyrics of a new song that's coming out before, obviously, he's even recorded it. Uh, here's Bastille. They're, they're working on their next album. Let's see what they have to say. Mark is just through here, and we're working on a song called Blame, which some of you might have heard um, at festivals or gigs before. But um, we're really excited to have finally recorded it. It's a song about gangsters. Um, and yeah, this is the riff, which we, we're really happy with it. We think it's sounding great. It's great to be able to get behind the scenes and see what the process that an artist uses to create a song. As we keep going down, here's a, a shot from Alabama Shakes a couple nights ago. And here's a studio session, actually a Capitol Studio A. For those of you that know, Capitol Studio is one of the premier studios and historical, and uh, Alabama Shakes was just there a couple nights ago. Again, be able to see things you've never been able to hear or see. Uh, Lauren Kramer, you probably have never heard of him. He's an unsigned artist. I just started following him. He's actually posted his new song right up on Connect, and I'd love to play it now. It's the first time anyone's heard it. Just imagine you're a new artist and look at all the people you've been able to, be able to hear this song right now thanks to Connect. Don't go saying it's gone. Don't go saying you're done. So Lauren Kramer, remember that name. We think he's going to be really, really huge. Now, of course, you can always search for music across all of our millions and millions of songs, but I like to do a little bit of stuff with Siri, because Siri's been learning a lot more about music. Play Born to Run. one of my favorite songs of all time, but let's get a little more specific. Play the top 10 songs in alternative. And if I tap on the up next cue, 
I can see all the top 10 songs and what's next. Now, I feel like reminiscing a little. And let's go back to my high school days when I graduated. Play the top song from May 1982. Now that brings back some memories, but we'll leave that for another time. <laughs> now, have you ever gone to a movie and you love the soundtrack or the song that was on there, but you don't know the name or you've forgotten about it later? Well, it's really easy with Siri. Play the song from Selma. Let's do that again. Play the song from Selma. One day when the glory comes, it will be ours. It will be ours. Oh, one day when the war is won. And that is Siri, and that is Apple Music. It is a revolutionary music service with recommendations just for you, a worldwide live radio station with the world's best DJs, an exciting way for fans to connect with artists, and of course, this is joined by the iTunes Music Store, the best place to buy music. Apple Music is all of the ways you love music, all in one place. And we're launching in over 100 countries later this month with iOS 8.4 for your iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad, as well as a new version of iTunes for the Mac, a new version of iTunes for Windows, and Android is coming this fall. Now, Apple Music will be just $9.99 a month, the cost of an album. And we want everyone to try it, and so we're making the first three months free. Now, we want to do something really great for families. Today, you have to buy a music subscription for each and every person. Or you share an account, even though you're not supposed to, and now all of you can't play at the same time, and your playlists and recommendations get all messed up. Well, with Apple Music, for just $14.99, you can have up to six family members. Everyone. Everyone gets their own account, their own library, their own recommendations. It's an incredible value. And that is Apple Music. Thank you. Turn it back to Tim. Thanks, Eddie.